on this day of silence, feelings of despair and disbelief, lost hope, and perhaps even faith make their way right to the front door. You can imagine questions like, how do we go on? Who will lead us? Will it really work without him? We can't perform those miracles or any kind of healings. How will we organize? Will the people even listen? And what if we get arrested too? Consider for a moment with me what it would be like to know or to not know how the story goes, to not know that resurrection is coming, to not know that the veil had not just become thin, but would be torn open. Rest for a moment with me in that silence. Let us remember that Jesus' death was decided by the governing body, and it became a symbol of what could happen to others who dare follow his teachings and callings. Consider what it would be like to live without that hope, that existence, that very presence of God. And suddenly, it would return to them. The miracles witnessed, the words and teachings, the signs and wonders, the healings on the road and in the land, all that Jesus said would become clearer to them, bit by bit. Some would even begin to say, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, who suffered under Pontius Pilate, who was crucified, died, and was buried, who descended to hell and on the third day would rise from the dead ascending to heaven, sitting at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to commune with the living and the dead. Then, can you hear them saying this? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. This is known today as the Apostles' Creed. Friends, the presence of the Lord is here. It always was, is, and is yet still on its way. So come and see the place where he laid. And on this upcoming Holy Saturday, Next Saturday, may we remember that you were the stone the builders rejected, but you now have become a cornerstone to the nations. And so, it is.